Good morning. Uh, welcome to our European Morning Update. And we've got um, European stocks broadly higher today after uh, some weakness on Friday. The UK 100 day trading at just below 7,500. Um, we saw some weakness uh, at the tail end of last week as US stocks were, were lower, but then managed to mount a rip roaring rally towards the close. And the, they actually closed, the NASDAQ closed up 3%. So a good day on Wall Street in the end. Um, the uh, S&P was up 2.5%, the Dow up 1.5%. So some real big positive moves there on, on the charts uh, for the index, for the indices, uh, just moving up towards uh, the top of uh, of the weekly range uh, that we'd seen. Um, so it was a good, good uh, session, um, uh, but we wait to see what goes on this week with regards to um, the volatility around earnings and so on. We've got some of the big hitters, some of the big tech stocks reporting this week. Um, also, Bank of England this week, so keep your eyes open on that one. Um, cable's trading here at 134 a bit, um, just putting a low around uh, 133.7 there. And has and has bounced. So, oh, I don't want to move that, do we? Um, try and move that one. There we go. So we're just along this trend. I mean, it's hard to to draw a very straight line here, but you could you could draw that and say that we we're sort of uh, at that trend level, out or through it maybe slightly. Um, it's obviously a bit in, in perfect because you got some of the a couple of these that spike there is not reflected, but um, still the bearish MACD crossover on that one. Um, elsewhere, gold below eighteen hundred still, but a little bit off its lows. Bearish MACD again. If we look at the dollar, similarly, bullish MACD still in play, uh, just peeling back a little bit after the multi-year highs hit, or two-year highs hit up here, and uh, we just pulled back a bit to test 97 level again. Um, finally, crypto, uh, you're looking at 37,000 now uh, for that one. Again, it's sort of got this weak price action that's similar to what we had here and here uh, and here. Not convinced it's... Uh, predictive of a, a big bounce but we'll see keep your eyes on the indicators as always and uh and what's going on with regards to the nasdaq seems to be fairly well correlated you see that rally there on the nasdaq on friday uh translated to a bit of a bit of bounce for bitcoin so that's it for the moment uh we'll have uh, more updates for you in due course uh, this week um, and later today, uh, Chicago PMI today and FOMC member Esther George is speaking. That's the main events to look out for um, in the market. Thanks for watching.